Here. Back with another one. This time we got top 10 greatest new isekai fantasy slash fantasy anime for 2021. By anima animology. Is isekai like a new a new thing right now? Like is it I know it's not a new thing, but is it like a new trend? Like people really into is isekai right now? I keep seeing those all over these lists all over YouTube. Like I don't know if it's just a trend. Like people are really just getting into them now or like if it's just always been like that. But I I at this point I haven't seen that many like want for for isekai like straight up i haven't seen that that much want people haven't been talking about it as much as they have been this year but make sure y'all like their video like my video sub to my channel too sub to their channel you know all this all the good stuff let's get into it there are countless isekai and fantasy animes out there chances are that you've seen them all the classics are set but some modern classics are just around the corner modern isekais definitely excite us Thanks for joining us today at Animeology. There are so many brilliant new anime series that have recently come out and are about to come out. We're just as pumped as you. Some of the recommendations on our list of new isekai what? fantasy animes are so fresh and original <laughs> that we I... legitimately cannot wait for them to get released. <laughs> Number 10, I've been killing slimes for 300 years and maxed out my level. An absolutely brilliant series that has been around for a while, seen a great deal of success both as a novel and manga. Fans are finally getting to see an anime adaptation and it's hard to get excited about it. A brilliant comedy slice of life type series set in a magical isekai realm. We follow Azusa, a young woman that died from overwork and reawoken as an immortal undying and forever young witch in an awesome new world, vowing to live her life stress free. Killing only the lowest level creatures for hundreds of years turns out that Azusa is now incredibly overpowered and her chances of living a quiet and peaceful life have become a lot harder than she initially thought. A charming and light-hearted watch, this is an anime series you don't want to miss out on. Number nine. I was kind of interested in that when I first saw it. I might check it out. Based on a successful RPG game out of Korea, this anime adaptation has a lot of background information and world lore to keep itself interesting for viewers. With a brilliant world and a huge cast of well-written and intricate characters, if this anime adaptation is half as good as the video game, it should be brilliant. An evil goddess and her followers mm, attempted really to destroy the planet hey, drink out water. stopped by the seven knights that were chosen by the goddess Saras. The story picks up many generations later as those seven knights are the greatest heroes who ever lived. An academy is set up around these mythical warriors and their styles and life forces are channeled into newer generations of warriors. Unfortunately, the cult of the evil goddess is starting to rise up once again and these new warriors need to channel the fighting spirit of the seven knights and defeat this great evil once again. Number eight, the saint's magic power is omnipotent. Although still in its early days, we can easily see this turning into a long-running and highly successful series. The premise alone is honestly so brilliant and there exist so many avenues this series can go down. Following Sai, a normal office worker is summoned to a magical realm of Salutinia. Instead of just being Sai being summoned, another woman has followed as well, destined to banish the dark magic plaguing the world. Sai becomes a researcher at a research institute and slowly starts to get involved with the lives and situations of the exciting world around her. Slowly we start to realize just how magical a place that Salutinia can be. 
Although lacking a big action scene and heavy fighting, this series focuses on the intimate struggle and development of a relatable and down-to-earth character. The story of Sai is one that we keep coming back to see. Number 7. I'm Standing on One Million Lives Bro, like, what is that? Why... <laughs> Why is he? A brilliant tale set in a wonderful. I'm not even gonna ask. Now, actually, we never mind. The story of Yusuke and his classmates as they get transported to a magical game-like world. Wasting little time, we see the three young boys embark on a variety of exciting adventures and encounter a number of mythical creatures. What sets us apart is the mysterious games master that meets our young heroes and grants them a time-limited quest. Then gives each of our heroes a role. Warrior with insane melee abilities, mage with powerful magical skills, and of course, Farmer. A hilarious setup that develops and fleshes out in an extremely interesting way. This isn't your standard lazy comedy, but chooses to mix up great action and adventure storytelling as a tool for great humor. So well written and with natural characters and encounters, it's hard not to fall in love with our mm. young adventurer and follow them as they look to protect the world from demons and monsters. Number 6, Eden Zero. Now this is the only thing on the list I'm guaranteed to watch. An absolutely riveting sci-fi fantasy anime with an exceptional sense of adventure. The setting of Eden Zero is one that has us hooked from the very first episode. Closely following Shiki, a young boy on a voyage across the cosmos on a starship called the Eden Zero. Join him and his crew as they search heaps of unique and diverse planets as they seek the cosmic goddess known as Mother. A really intricate universe of humans, aliens and intelligent robots, each planet we encounter is filled with extremely futuristic yet classic fantasy elements. Every episode stands apart from the rest, with our lovable crew encountering everything from cybernetic dragons to mysterious inhabitants of the Sukura cosmos. Alternative histories, time paradoxes, Eden Zero has it all. A definite watch for any sci-fi anime lover and someone looking for a brilliant isekai fantasy adventure. Number five. I'm not gonna lie. I, I am still gonna watch the show. But I'm still going to be calling them by their fairy tale names. Like, I'm gonna be like, oh, yeah, it's Happy, Lucy, Gray. I'm just gonna keep doing that in my head. Like, I did that the entire entry. It, that's the only thing that gets at me, bro. If he, like, if he just designed completely new character, like, you know, that robot chief, that was cool, yeah. That was, that was a cool new character. I didn't see something like that fairy tale. At least he wasn't a main, you know, main thing. But don't reuse main character looks, bro. Lucy looked just like Lucy. I don't know what her real name is. She looked just like Lucy. Gray looked just like Young Gray, which that I guess that that's a pass because you know Young Gray wasn't a main character. It was just kind of a side thing. But you know Lucy, come on dog. I, come on dog. Cheats pharmacists. Hope she don't act like Lucy. A really fun and unique tale on the isekai genre. This series is firmly set in a fantasy and chooses to revel in its story through its episodic slice of life format. Extremely original and highly anticipated watch, this series will not let you down. We meet Riji, a young worker suddenly transported to a magical isekai world, using his skills to create some of the craziest and most powerful potions that world has ever seen. Earning piles of cash, he decides to reinvest and start up his own store. The sort of potions and remedies Riji creates are really wacky and fun on their own. An elf that can't aim, a dragon that can control his fire breath. These are the sorts of interesting characters that Riji could encounter on any given day. Rather than focusing on the magician Isekai adventures, this series opts to look closely at the life of a simple inhabitant of the realm. A really fun watch with an interesting and likable cast of characters. Number 4, Dragon Lee Wu Kao. I don't know if I'm gonna watch like most of these. Every time I give Isekai a, a chance, I've given a lot of Isekai a chance. I've just, it, I fall out in the middle of it because it's like, bruh. There's always just that moment of just, it's just dry. It's always like a, a area of the show where the Isekai is just dry. It's like, it, what's really happening? Like, nothing really happening. The plot is progressing. Like, and I've watched a lot. There's only about like two that I even remember the name at this point because like 
they they stuck out. Either I finished it or I hated it. Well, no, three. Because I hated, I hated Sword Art Online. I hated that. After a certain point, it got hella dry. I was just like, dog. I hated it. It was, it was bad. Then the, uh, the other game one. She, Horizon, Log Horizon. That's it. That's it. Yeah. They, they find, yeah, they, they got people out of that, that bad guild. Man was, was super, super smart, super powerful. I'm like, all right, cool. And then it got dry. It just right there, right after that, I was like, bro, it's, this is dry as hell. I'm watching something else. And then Batum. Batum was a good, I don't even know if that counts as Isekai. It was, it was really a tournament. But, like, he, he was in a, a, a new area that he never, you know, with new people. It was completely out of nowhere. So, I guess, I mean, that's kind of Isekai, is it? I don't know. But Batum was cool. Series. I wish there was a second Honestly, season. The premise behind this series is a lot crazier than most and is a clear indication of the sort of experimental anime series that we can expect in the future. A pure fantasy realm through and through, we follow a young red dragon by the name of Letty. A weak and timid dragon is kicked out of his family home. The story is the Endless Ark and Fairy Tale count as Isekai too? He goes on the search for his dream home. That's right, you have a series about a dragon that goes house hunting. And we love every second of it. Don't worry, the series thickens and adds a great deal of interesting and fun side characters. From the powerful elf demon lord that is also in the real estate business, as well as a stubborn princess and a cowardly knight. This is a series that sets out to have a bit of fun, and we get to be burnt out on these type on of it this type of anime. Number three, how a realist hero rebuilt the kingdom. Long ass title, bro. Now, this is a series that is hard not to love. If you haven't checked it out, then we highly recommend you give it a go. Taking a look at the isekai genre and really flipping it on its head, the process of rebuilding a kingdom is something we'd all love to be part of. Following- Why, why is it now a trend where anime have to be named as the plot? <laughs> How I turned into a 600 year old genie. How I, how I became a farmer. How I destroyed a country, a continent, and everything. It's like, bro, what, why, is that, why is that your title of your anime? Name it something cool, bro. Don't tell me to plot in the name of the anime. Kazuya, after being summoned to deal with the threat of a demon lord, our hero decides not to go adventuring and fighting, but rather to sit as king of the realm. Using his sheer political power, Kazuya starts making big changes in order to make this magical isekai world a more pleasant world for everyone to live in. This first one on the list could have just been named Slime Hunter, isekai Max Slime, Slime Hunter or something like that. And taking a step there you back, go. Looking at the management and running of these kingdoms. The plot thickens as we learn of a civil war and a battle of nations. This is definitely one of the greatest new series out there and will very likely be considered one of the greatest of all time. Number two, combatants will be dispatched. The premise behind this exciting new Sinyan series really has us excited and we're just begging for more. With a brilliantly unique dystopian future type of situation, this series explores action and sci-fi like no other. Following the evil Kisaragi Corporation having recently dominated planet Earth, we follow their expanse through the rest of the universe, sending out Combat Agent 6, this new battle droid into a fantasy world through a teleporter. Arriving in this new world, this dangerous battle droid gets caught up in the epic battle for this planet and soon joins the king's military. The interesting balance of this series between the collision of the battle droid trying to win the planet for the kingdom whilst establishing some key points for the Kisaragi Corporation to ultimately take over. A very interesting core concept right. that is balanced Dick through Festival. some complicated and intelligent scenes. A That's something no one's going to think is a password, so it makes sense. Maturity we deserve. And number one, 86. Oh, this is where he was screaming in the beginning. An extremely new and series like Novo has spawned both manga and now an anime series. 
a very tasteful blend of romance against a mecha and military sci-fi background. 86 is one of the most engaging and well-rounded isekai fantasy anime series that we've ever come across. In a world plagued by war for at least a decade, with heavy losses on both sides, we learn of these powerful mechs known as juggernauts. Although the public believes that this is a battle of machines, this powerful technology is controlled by humans. This is just the surface of the mountain of lies and political mystery that surrounds 86. The plot expands heavily in every way, with each episode layering on heavy world lore with a serious and grim story. Notes of happiness and emotion with an engaging and interesting romance. There is something for everybody. 86 is an anime that is hard not to love. Do yourself a favour and check it out. I'm not gonna lie, I started listening to that beat in the back. Hold it. Hey, hey, yeah. Hey, hey, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I see. <laughs> started writing shit in my head to that beat. I was like, wait, that's that's kind of hot. Why he put that back there? <laughs> and I was that was a hot beat. I need that beat. Someone give me that beat. I need, someone need that. I need that beat on me. Alright, oh, um, I'm gonna go before I start rapping. So, <laughs> hope y'all enjoy. I'm out. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.